Did you know that as many as 68% of American households have at least one pet? That is significantly more than those who have children under 18. And with the younger generations putting off having children, household pets have filled that role for many Americans. And because your furry friends are a part of your family, you need to consider their needs when you're thinking about moving. Here are four important things to consider when thinking about your pets and moving. I'm Karen, and if we have not yet met, I am a realtor in the greater Seattle area. I like to share tips and tricks for home buyers and home sellers to make their journey easier. Number one, what are the local pet laws? This is an often forgotten aspect when it comes to thinking about a place to live. But it's important to remember that animal laws are handled through local municipalities. Things like leash laws, noise ordinances, and even breed restrictions can come into play and catch new residents off guard. Also important to remember if you're thinking about joining an HOA, that HOA may have additional rules that you'll need to abide by. Number two, what is the outdoor space like? Many pets, dogs specifically, obviously benefit from lots of outdoor time. So what type of outdoor space are you providing for them? Consider the yard size, whether it has a fence and even the type of landscaping before purchasing. Also think about what type of major roads are close to the property. If your pet gets loose, will it be in immediate danger to heavy and or fast moving traffic that's close by? Number three, does the house have pet friendly floors? The biggest impact your pet will have on the house is the flooring. So it's important to think about how those floors will age over time. Big dogs can easily scratch certain types of hardwood and carpet is easily soiled and not always easily cleaned. And finally, number four, is the floor plan of the house accommodating to both you and your pet together? You'll quickly grow tired of your house if you're always tripping over your big dog. If you're downsizing, you need to consider how much space your pet is used to. Do you have a room for a big dog bed or a tall cat tree? Are there stairs that your pet will need to navigate? Many pets will struggle with steps as they age, so are you prepared to install a carpet runner up the stairs or relegate your pet to a single floor. Think about how your house will accommodate your pet throughout its entire life. Your pet will have to deal with the stress of moving to a new space just like you. So consider how this new home will affect them throughout their entire life. So do you have a pet at home? If so, what are some of the considerations you take into account when moving? Let me know in the comments.